One of the things that happens that's really creepy here is those automatic doors open and close by themselves. Which, like, that's not creepy because they're automatic doors, right? So he explains mm. to me that they sit there and they slam, boom, 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 right? And then he would look up, and some of his other staff would look up from the, the desk at times, and they'd see this shadowy silhouette and smoky figure out looking in. Sometimes they do it without in there, or it in there, and um, it would just vanish at times and go away. He said, but when you walk out there, you feel really like, just, it's dark and depressing. Um, I was like, that's really cool because one time I was doing a group of about nine people, all adults and one teenage kid. And the teenage kid's standing right there and he's fascinated by ghosts. He's asking me all kinds of questions. We even talked about the door a lot and we talked about everything. And towards the end of all of this talk, I watch him turn around and take about two steps into that door. And I, he's, he's, he's walking, I'm like, don't do it. Because that night, you can, I can feel some stuff here. Uh, I'm pretty good at it. I feel some stuff. It's not like it was that night. I felt it like a couple times, like that way. That time, it's what I call heavy. It's really heavy. It's a weight, and it drags you down, and it's depressing, and it's just exhaust, beyond exhaustion, and it just sucks. And I'm like, don't do it. Not tonight. Just come back tomorrow. Go hang out. You know, it's not tonight. It's not the night. It's on the rhythm of that door. It goes in rhythm, but it's not tonight. You just, I got to, man. I'm like, you really don't. Okay, so he takes about two steps. I'm not your dad, but your dad's standing right there. He takes about two steps into that door and he collapses. He literally falls. Like, I thought he was going to crack his head, but he catches himself, skins up his hands, and he throws up everywhere. Ooh. And his dad runs over to him and grabs him. And I'm over there grabbing him too. And I'm training, like, face and blood support and a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm, we're picking him up. Like, he's like, you got to get me up. You got to get me out of here. I can't stand up. So we pick him up and we start moving him away because that's the only thing he wants. Just, I need to move. I'm okay. I just need to move. And as we're pulling him away, I'm looking at his dad. I'm like, dude, we need to, we need to like, call him up. Like, nah, I'm ready to fucking phone now. He's like, yeah, I think you're right because the kid's turning about that color white. Like he's, he's like his shirt right there. He's going to pay up. And it's funny because his mom, kind of funny, his mom is like the opposite of dad and I. Dad and I are like, let's get him some help. Mom looks over and goes, Suck it up and be a man. You can't handle a little walk around the Alamo. You're going to play football this year? What's wrong with you? You know, like, your coach is be yelling at you. And I'm like, I don't think it's the walk, buddy. I think we need to. Put your phone away, honey. You don't need to walk this off. 